Our next guest has the ability to look into the future literally and has been right several times regarding Jason Show family members, uh, including very recently. We'll talk about that. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for one of our favorite guests, Psychic Maria Shaw. Yeah. Welcome back, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. Let's start off there. I always say I always like to start off with a compliment, so I'll start uh, with this. Uh, Maria has been on our show for several seasons. Uh, when Shane was here, uh, Shane was pregnant at the time. Maria accurately predicted many aspects of the pregnancy uh, that Shane had never told us. Uh, she also predicted uh, the next appearance that I was going to move at a time when I was 100% certain I wasn't going to move condos. What happened? Three months later, a deal fell into my lap and I moved. More recently, just last, or no, just this spring, Maria appeared on my radio show with my co-host Alexis Thompson. Alexis, as she's been very open, has struggled for about eight years with infertility. And Maria then, and it was an uncomfortable moment that Maria didn't know, Maria, off the top of her said, head said, Alexis, you're going to have a baby. Alexis is now pregnant. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you the same thing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> but, I mean, that... I, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Did you, I mean, when you, because I remember you just kind of stopped the segment. Did you just see the baby, or how did that, how does that come to you? Uh, I just felt it. I, I just, like, a thought pops in your mind. I mean, we're all intuitive. Yeah. We just have to trust it. You know, sometimes you just have to go with it. So I thought, I think this girl's going to get pregnant, so you just have to say it. Yeah, oh, and you did, and I was like, ooh, yeah, anyway. Okay, let's talk about, let's start with uh, um, August. Is, mm -hmm. Listen, we're now in August. Can yeah. you believe it's August? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to have a good month? Let's go down some signs. Who's going to have a fantastic August? Well, starting August 12th, the Sagittarians are going to have a fantastic, Ooh. actually, five months. Yeah. yeah. And Executive producer yeah. Jeff is very excited. Yeah, yeah. And, and then next year the Sages are going to make a lot of money. So that's who you'll be hanging out with next year. Next year. Well, Jeff, I don't know. Yeah, but, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. yeah. But out of all the signs, the luckiest is going to be the Leos like yourself. Yes! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Last month was kind of crappy. A lot of people had a really hard month in July. There was a lot of, you know, breakups and people passing on, and it was just a hard month. But this month is going to be extra lucky for all of us. But we have a lot of planets in the sign of Leo. That's why Leos are going to be lucky. It's a good time to shop, to gamble, uh, for romance, for creativity. If you want a new job, look for a job. If you want a new man or a new woman, go out and ask someone out. This is a year for, this is actually a month for new starts. This month right here in yes. August. Yes. Can you believe it? It's uh, already August. Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and can you believe? And can you believe it? Monday is my birthday. I'll be forty-five, I know. and uh, so yeah. <laughs> can you believe I'm forty-five? Yeah. yeah. But so uh, you have a birthday reading for me. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Forty-five. It's the last year of your midlife crisis. Nope. <laughs> so you're gonna feel a lot more grounded. It's almost over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I feel very strongly that um, this show is going to expand within this next year. I see a lot of travel for you, a lot of writing, and I see you going around to a lot of different cities. I know you're in Duluth, yeah. you know, but I see more cities than that in the region, in the Midwest. And then I see this show being picked up by a lot of your affiliates. So I think there's a lot of expansion here. <laughs> but I have better news. I have better news than that. You have better news than that. You're riding in a parade in Disney. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm not going to act like I didn't hear this because I, we, Maria was on my radio show. Tell them you have a very specific vision of, of, for me. Mm -hmm. He's riding in a Disney parade. You're going to meet somebody there because of your podcast that you're yeah. doing, and they're really going to love what you're doing, and they're gonna, you're going to say, well, you know, I've always wanted to ride in the parade, this and that, and I think they're going to let you wear a costume. It's not Mickey. It's not Donald. It's somebody. <laughs> But for some reason, they won't let you pre-promote it. You know, you so just I'll have only to be able to talk about it after the fact. Right. You can't touch anybody. You can't. You can't be too crazy. No, it's not Mardi Gras. You can't have alcohol. But yeah. you're going to ride in this parade, and you're going to have a fantastic time. Yeah. Okay, that's better news than I know. I, I, know. I want the show to expand, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now I, we said this also. We focused on the positive. August is going to be a great month. But let's be fair. Mm -hmm. Let's warn people or give them a heads up. 
What, let's move into the fall. What are some signs that may not have the best fall for a variety of reasons? Well, Capricorns are still going to have a hard year. They're in a three year cycle of like one thing after another. Um, next year is going to be much better for Capricorns, which is not that far away, but they have a lot on their plate and a lot of big decisions to make. However, it is Capricorns' year to lose weight. So they can eat all they want, they won't put any weight on. Okay. Uh, Sagittarius, though, have got to watch out. He's doing good. But Sagittarius have, have got to watch out because they could put weight on this year, and then also Taurus could put weight on. Oh. So if you're a Taurus or a Sag, be careful. The audience looks so sad. <laughs> 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 if they're a Sagittarius. Yeah. So, so those are the two to kind of that won't have the well, best fall. Well, Sag is going to have a good fall, but Capricorn still has to toe the mark. You know, they still have it still have some challenges till the end of the year. Cancers may have some breakups, but they're also in a lucky cycle by Christmas for makeups. And they could hear from a, a flame from the past. And if you're a single cancer, you can meet somebody. But if your relationship right now is kind of up and down, it may end by the end of the year. Um, really quick, Ted, producer Ted, what sign are you? Sagittarius, producer Ooh. Ted. Do you see any love for producer Ted? <laughs> Two. Two loves? <laughs> Wonder Twin Powers activate. That's right. Mark.